Genesis chapter 42 is, well, it's kind of a chapter of intrigue. We had mentioned earlier there was a famine in the land. Joseph had interpreted a dream and the famine spread beyond Egypt into Canaan. And so here's what happens. There is Joseph now risen to power, ruling over Egypt. The only one ahead of him is Pharaoh. And people are coming from different areas for grain because, well, Egypt has prepared because of Joseph preparing the Pharaoh. And who comes to Egypt looking for food? Well, the very brothers that sold him into slavery. They show up and they meet with Joseph and they don't recognize him. And Joseph asks them a question. Listen to what he says. He says, where do you come from? And they said, from the land of Canaan to, to buy some food. So Joseph recognized his brothers, but they did not recognize him. And Joseph remembered the dreams that he had when he was a young man, how they would bow before him. And he sees how what they meant for evil, God meant for good. And this is an amazing story of how God can take what you think might be the worst thing that ever happened to you, sold into slavery, then put into prison, and now he finds himself there with his brothers and God is fulfilling the dreams in his life. You know, maybe you have some dreams or maybe you have some things in your life that you think are going bad or they're hard or, man, even my own family or my brothers have kind of turned on me. Well, that's the story of Joseph. And now here are his brothers before him trying to buy food from him. And God has brought the whole thing from the beginning of his life as a young boy into fruition. He's about not only to help his brothers because he not holding a lot of vengeance against them, but he's also gonna save, well, he's gonna save the nation of Israel. God is doing something even when it looks like he's doing nothing. And that's what's happening in this chapter. And Joseph is a great example of when you think it's dark, when you think it's bleak, God is still fulfilling his plan, his purpose in ways, well, that most of the time we don't understand.